Hi, it's me, Tutor Vinod. In this video, we are going to talk about LCM or least common multiple of algebraic expression. Let me give you an example. Let us take 6 and 8. So, the term least common multiple or LCM is we are, we are supposed to put the multiples of 6 suppose 6 times 1 is 6, 6 times 2 is 12, 6 times 3 is 18 and so on. Similarly if we want to do it for 8 it will be 8, 8 times 2 is 16, 8 times 3 is 24, 8 times 4 is 32, similarly 6 times 4 will be 24. So out of this multiple since the value suggest us that it should be or it must be least common multiple so out of the multiple of 6 which are these 6 12 18 and 24 as you can see here similarly for 8 it's 8 16 24 32 and so forth so what is the least common multiple which is common in between these two terms so in 6 and 8 what is the least common we have in terms of multiple if you see it would be 24 because this is common in both 24 if we move forward we can have other terms in common but we are looking for the least common multiple so this will be the least common multiple so our LCM or least common multiple of 6 and 8 would be 24. Let me tell you its uses now. So we can use LCM in order to add, subtract and compare the fraction. Sometimes we don't know which one is greater or smaller. So if we want to compare the fraction such as 1 over 3 with 5 over 6 then we can take a multiple uh, take a LCM so in this case the LCM would be 6 so I gonna divide and multiply by 2 over here divide and multiply by 2 to get 6 S but this is 5 over 6 so if I want to see this first term I would have 2 over 6 because I divide and multiply by 2 on the first term so my first term would 1 over 3 is equivalent to 2 over 6 and I have 5 over 6 over here so which one is greater obviously 5 is greater than 2 so we can use the application of LCM in order to compare two fractions we can add fractions we can subtract fractions and also we can compare fraction by using the application of the LCM Similarly, we can simplify the rational expression using the idea of LCM or using the application of LCM. And thirdly, and most importantly, if you want to know the event occurrence in future, you can use this application. For now, in this video, we will be focusing more on LCM, least common multiple of algebraic expression so let me make you familiar with the algebraic expressions LCM now let us do this example we have two expression the first expression is first expression is 6 x to the power 4 y to the power 4 and our second expression is 12 x to the power 4 y to the power 5 if you want to get the LCM of 6 and 12 obviously it will be 12 so the LCM between this term would be starting with 12 because if we want to see the number and if you want to take the LCM of 6 and 12 so 6 we have 6 times 1 6 6 times 2 12 similarly for 12 you would have uh, 12 and then 24 and so forth what is the least common so 12 will be the least common so the LCM of 6 and 12 will be obviously 12 but we are 
about to see for x to the power 4 and y to the power 4 what is the least common between x4 and x4 that's x4 similarly uh, if you want to see y4 and y5 so y4 y4 and y5 it will be y5 because y5 can be divisible by y5 it will be times 1 similarly y5 would be divisible by y4 if you want to divide y5 by y4 you would get y so our LCM would be 12 x4 y to the power 5 now in this example we are looking at relatively tougher problem the first expression is 6 a to the power 6 plus 6 a to the power 4 plus 6 a to the power square the first thing you must uh, remember or you must notice that whenever you see common in between the terms of an expression you should always take the common if we're gonna see at the three terms of expression one we would have 6a square common the remaining will be a to the power 4 because if you're gonna divide this first term by this common term you would get a to the power 4 similarly for the second term you would get a square and for the third term you would get 1 the next thing we can do is we can do a4 as a square a square plus if I want to have uh, the square form of a square a plus b square kind of term in terms of a square so I must have 2 now if I want to evolve this or develop this expression as a plus b whole square kind of term I would be needing a square so a square but my b term would be 1 now so I can write 2a square but I just write this 2a square in order to evolve it as a formula and the last term would be 1 square which is over here so I put 1 as 1 square from here similarly this a to the power 4 is a square whole square but I wrote this term extra which is not here so I must subtract that over here 2a square but this a square is here inside the bracket from here so I must put it as it is a square now if you want to go further this will be your a square plus 1 whole square whereas if you subtract this 2 you'll get negative a square because negative 2a square plus a square is negative a square now you see the pattern of a square minus b square kind of thing over here which will give us a plus b our b term is a and a minus b so a minus b and a plus b a is a square plus 1 and our b term is a over here so this is how you factorize the algebraic expression now let us see the second expression the second expression is relatively easier let us take common first so 4a cube will be common if you're gonna divide 4a6 by 4a cube you'd get a cube minus if you're gonna divide this for a cube term by 4a cube it will be 1 so the remaining portion would be a cube minus 1 inside the bracket leave 4a cube as it is now this is like a cube minus b cube so what is the formula for a cube minus b cube it's a minus b our b term is 1 and a square plus a v a is a and b is 1 so a v is again a plus v square v is 1 so 1 square is again 1 so this will be our second term now let us try to find the LCM of two term if you want to see the number 4 and 6 let's see the multiple of 6 it will be 6 12 18 and so forth for 4 it will be 4 8 12 so we already got 12 so 
the least common multiple between 4 and 6 would be 12 so let me write 12 over here now let us move towards a a cube 4 so in a square and a cube we would have LCM as a cube because a cube would be divisible by both a cube and a square so a cube will be over here as a part of our LCM answer similarly let us see if any other things are common now I can write a minus 1 similarly I can write a square plus a plus 1 from here and also I have to write this term over here which is a square plus 1 this term and this term are same so let me write this term now a square plus 1 minus a so if you this is the multiple of both this term and this term because if you want to divide this term by this term you would get something similarly this is divisible by this so and this is the least term that is divisible or that is the multiple of these two expressions so this is the LCM you can leave your answer over here or you can elaborate it even further if we want to do that the tuple a cube term will be over here this is a minus b a square plus a plus one I can write it as the form a cube minus one so let me write that so a cube minus one and the other term will be a square plus 1 minus a so that's your LCM you can also leave it over here but if you want to elaborate it to here that's perfectly fine this is how you factorize first and then see what is the multiple of these two expression and evaluate the LCM of the two algebraic expression it's not as simple as numbers but once you practice and get used to it it would be relatively easier now let us see one more example find the LCM of a square plus 2ab plus b square minus c square and v square plus 2bc plus c square minus a square we have similar kind of three expression let me write the first expression over here as a square plus 2ab plus b square minus c square this is a plus b whole square so I write as a plus b whole square similarly I copy it as it is at c square if you want to see these two terms now it's in the form a square minus b square what would be the formula for a square minus b square it would be a minus b a plus b so if you want to do the same thing with this one our a is a plus b minus b is like c over here a plus b minus c a plus b plus c would be our a plus b a minus b in terms of this one similarly if you want to see the second expression it's given as b square plus 2bc plus c square haha <laughs> minus a square so this term is b plus c whole square yeah yes now this is a square again you already realize that this is of the form a square minus b square as here we can put it as a plus b and a minus b so b plus c minus a b plus c plus a similarly we can do for the third expression which is c square plus 2ca plus a square would give us c plus a whole square whereas I copy b square as it is now this is also like a square minus b square which would give us a minus b a plus b so a minus b is c plus a minus b and c plus a plus b so this is how we factorize its expression given to us in the question now let us see what is the least common multiple of all three expression is there anything common over here so if you want to see it closely we have this a plus b plus c over here this is also like a plus b plus c and this is also like a plus b plus c so our common term is a plus b plus c so we are done with the common term and now let us write the remaining term over here so a plus b minus c I wrote it over here 
b plus c minus a over here and c plus a minus b over here so if you write this much then it would be divisible by all three expressions you can divide this term by this this by this and this by this and it would be the least common multiple of all three terms so our LCM would be this much in this way we find the LCM of algebraic expression which would be really helpful in order to simplify algebraic rationals which we would see it in our later videos for now stay safe and healthy thank you